Hi teachers. Um, the purpose of this recording is to familiarize you with a new app that you can use to enhance Words Their Way time in your classrooms. Um, obviously, Words Their Way is a time where you are able to um, work with students with for to work on different word patterns, different phonics skills. It kind of is the phonics component that goes um, with your units of study. Um, and there is no certainly no replacement for that small group work that you do with your students. However, um, we know that since students have some time, like a three to five day window where they work with the same words, um, there's some time when they're going to be practicing independently without the guidance of you. Um, and so we found some apps that are going to help you to enhance that time, um, not only make it a little more fun for them, but also have a way for you to get some evidence that they're actually practicing during that time. So the app that I'd like to talk to you about first today is called Buddy Poke. And it's a really funny name, I know. Um, believe me, we've had some fun with that in the tech department. Um, but Buddy Poke is an app that has two different um, avatars here. It's very similar to Telegami, an app that you are very um, familiar with. Um, however, instead of just having one avatar in it, there's two. So your students can work on the words with group members um, and whatnot to make it just a little more um, way to collaborate, a different way to collaborate. So I'm going to go and open the app, and when I open it, you're going to see that there's lots of different options to do with Buddy Poke. As with any other app your students use for instructional purposes and practice, you have to guide what parts of the app lend themselves to the learning outcome that you want. So for this particular activity, they need to focus in the video area, creating talking avatar videos to share online. So I'm going to select that. And you can see here where you have some different options um, for those avatars. I'm going to still do select two avatars. And when I do that, I can pick an avatar and pick the mood of the scene. And I'm just going to pick the little friendship one. And then when I get into that, it's going to give me an option for my background. I'm going to choose album and the, um, to grab something from your camera roll. And the reason why is... Um, I would have the students first do the word sort, sort their words in some way, and then um, I would pull that in as the background. Now I'm going to try to get this to turn for me. It's not really wanting to with my air server here. Um, but you can move your little people around, um, kind of make room for the words here, and move them how you want them. I'm really sorry that this air server is totally showing this. Um, sideways. But what you'll notice is at the bottom here, or on the side, you can show which avatar will be talking. So this will be this avatar talking, this one will be this one talking. Um, so it's very, very conversational. You can turn them around, you see there. Okay. And so you'll just go back and forth, and whichever one's highlighted, that's the one whose mouth's going to be moving. So you can see this one's highlighted, so that's whose mouth's moving. If I switch that over, then her mouth starts moving and that one stops. Um, do it together, and they would be saying words together. You can see the scale of how loud it is is here, and then your record option is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of start and show you to record. You would hit the record button. Notice the count is starting here. Hello, we've been doing a word sort with the words that we're working on this week. Yes, you will see that our word sort um, is divided, we've divided our words into three different categories. So teachers, you can see where I'm jumping back and forth here. Two students, if they were working together, you could have the voices of the students there. Whenever you are done, you can... Um, even kind of change their movements a little bit. So you can walk in and, you know, have them do different things on there. They'll learn that quickly, don't worry. Um, anyway, when you're done, you just hit done and you can do save video and your option to save it to your camera roll is there. And then you can have them, with, if it's saved in a camera roll, you can upload it as a Canvas assignment um, to where they would submit those to you to, for proof that they were working. So you can see where it just kind of gives them credibility to the time that they're spending working. Um, you can also see if their explanations of their word sorts are good and if they sorted, they can explain their sorts to you and that's what you would want them to get out of the activity. So it can help you with them for planning purposes as well. 
So um, again, I'm going to apologize that my video wouldn't turn landscape um, for in my air server here. I'm not sure what's going on. It did on my iPad, so you'll be able to tell when you get in and start playing with that. But hopefully Buddy Poke is something you feel that you can use with your students and a way to bring some technology into that Words Their Way time. Um, if you want this app, it is a paid app. I'm happy to get it for you, but I'm certainly not going to buy it if it's not going to be used. So um, formal app requests um, through the um, help desk are the way to go for that. Thank you for your attention.